In this video, we're going to start with an empirical formula and determine the percent composition by mass of that molecule. Now, percent composition is a percentage, and anytime we have a percentage, we're looking at the part of something that we're interested in over the whole of that thing. And in this case, for percent composition in chemistry, if we want to know the percent composition of some element, let's say carbon or hydrogen or nitrogen, that's going to be equal to the molar mass of that element divided by the molar mass of the whole compound. So the percent composition by mass of an element is gonna be the molar mass of that element divided by the total molar mass of that compound. Let's jump to a problem and see what that looks like. The problem says, what is the percent composition by mass of ethane, C2H6? So we're gonna to have to do this for carbon, I have to do this for hydrogen. So I'm gonna start with carbon. The percent composition of carbon equals, now I'm gonna start with the molar mass of carbon in the numerator of my fraction here. But notice that there's two carbons present in this molecule. So I'm gonna to have to multiply that molar mass by two to determine the total mass of carbon in one mole of this compound because there's two carbons present. In the denominator of the fraction, I'm gonna divide by the molar mass. If you already know the molar mass of the compound, just write it there. I don't know the molar mass of ethane right now, so I'm gonna calculate it. That's gonna be two carbons plus six hydrogens. So this denominator is now the molar mass of ethane. If you need help finding the molar mass of a compound, check out my video on that. All right, let's multiply this all out. I get 24.02 over 30.068. When I divide that, I get 0 0.7989. Now that's written as a decimal. To convert that to a percentage, you multiply by 100%. And so I'm gonna get 79.89% carbon. So what does that mean? Even though this compound only has two carbons, but it has six hydrogens, because carbon has a greater mass than hydrogen, 79.89% of this compound is actually made up of carbon. So it's mostly carbon, about 80%. Now I'm gonna go through this whole process again for any other elements I have present in the compound. In this case, I just have hydrogen. So I'm gonna set this up. Percent composition of hydrogen equals, and on the numerator, I'm gonna have the molar mass of hydrogen multiplied by how many hydrogens there are, which there's six of them. And in the denominator, I'm gonna have the total molar mass of the compound, which I'm gonna find the same way. In fact, I could just write 30.068 there because I already calculated that in the previous part. So six divided by 30, and I'm gonna get 0 0.2011. And again, that's a decimal. I'm gonna multiply that by 100% to find the percentage, and I get 20.11% hydrogen. Now you may notice something right away. If I were to add up these two numbers, the percent composition of carbon, the percent composition of hydrogen, then they would add up to 100%, because if you add up the percentages of each element in the compound, it should equal all of the compound or 100% of the compound. So you can use that fact as a shortcut. Whatever the final element that you're trying to find the percent composition by mass of, you can just take 100%, subtract away the other percent compositions, and that's gonna tell you the percent composition of that final element. So for hydrogen here, if I hadn't done the second step, I could say that the percent composition of hydrogen is 100% minus the other percent composition I had, 79.89, and I would get 20.11% hydrogen. So that's how we find the percent composition by mass of a substance, starting with its molecular formula. You're just gonna take the molar mass of the element that you're interested in, divided by the molar mass of the whole compound, divide that all out, multiply by 100%, and then you have the percent composition by mass of that element in the compound that you're studying.